Hey guys, it's Jordan from Slickback Sunday, and this week we're taking a look again at another flagship company product and their seasonal lineup, this time with Solstice. Let's jump right into it. Packaging, the similar packaging to the Void that we saw previously, and it's the same across the entire lineup, whether you're looking at the winter, fall, spring, this is the summer product. Uh, I like the crimson red color that they chose with the black background behind it. Overall, it's easy to read. Uh, it looks nice. The red works well for a summer color. And we have ingredients as well as the uh, type of product on the side here. Typical flagship labeling on the front and then some instructions on the side. This product is supposed to be a heavy holding paste and it's supposed to give us a medium to high volume, a natural finish. Opening up the jar, we're first met with a very smooth scent. Probably one of my favorite scents actually from Flagship. It's not nearly as harsh as um, some of their other products. First notes, we get kind of a very citrusy scent on the top middle you get a little bit of a herbal scent a little bit of ja jasmine some other scents as well and then the base we get a more woodsy vibe and it all co coalesces into kind of a a citrusy scent that's a little bit warm and has a smooth top end to it overall it's a very nice and something that shouldn't bother too many individuals looking at the product in the jar we're met with a off-white creamy looking product that has a distinct density to it. Scooping it out, same thing. Nothing to write home about in terms of ease of uh, scoop or anything like that. No, didn't take any effort or anything, but it's not the creamiest product in the world. It does feel quite nice though in the hands. It has a distinct tackiness to it, almost reminiscent of something like Transcend but not nearly as waxy. So it's, it has a touch of dryness, the tackiness still stays there, and unlike the Void or Blackwater, we don't have any residue on our hands. Applying into the hair, clean, blow-dried hair. So far, first scoop, very easy, and the presence starts to come in almost immediately. A very nice aspect to it. Now, being how thick and dense this product is, I probably won't go with too much more than two scoops with potentially just a touch more and then enough to just tame my side snap. Overall, application is slightly sticky, has a bit of tug to it in terms of a short hair tugging, which is almost non-existent depends on your hairstyle your hair type that type of thing but overall these two scoops went in with not too much of a hassle for how sticky the product is in the hair from there styling is pretty much done the best part about products that have this tackiness to them is that they style very quickly. You get an instant hold from the product. There's no onset delay. Um, greasiness, none. That's an excellent aspect, especially for something that's labeled a heavier hold. We're not getting any excess residue that we wouldn't want. And overall, it stays a nice, healthy feeling in the hair. It's not dry, it's very natural as it says on the label. We're not getting crazy volume. So far, the, the label is saying exactly what it's designed to be. And that's kind of what really, um, what do I wanna say? Really is lacking in some products and that Solstice does a great job of doing. So what do we get in terms of the actual performance? Now that we know there's a little bit of tackiness in the application, but it's easy to distribute, we're getting a definite firm to strong holding product. I would label it more strong or heavy, um, 
just because of the weight and the density of the product. This isn't something for crazy volume like I used to do with my old pumps. Um, this is something that's going to hold together throughout the day and remain stable. The weight and density of this product helps your hair maintain its overall shape and it's just very dependable in terms of its endurance. Products, especially in the winter here where I live, um, the cold weather and the snow starts to actually dry the air up where if certain products, if you use them during the day and if you're outside, the actual air will start to absorb a lot of the moisture out of your hair products. And this product doesn't, doesn't have any issues with it considering it's not super dry and there is still some moisture in the product itself, giving that natural sheen that is labeled and we see here. It's a very nice natural sheen too. As I stated in application, it's not greasy. It just feels healthy, looks healthy, and you can tell the ingredients list are leaning towards that aspect. It's overall a quality product and something you can depend upon. The endurance, like I said, excellent and probably the best aspect of this product. The hold is strong, but it has the weight added to it. So this may lean more so to people with thicker hair. It works well for me, especially on days that I need something dependable. And with a hairstyle like this, especially when it's shorter, I don't need a crazy amount of volume. Overall, just really intuitive to use, great holding, endurance. Washout, don't expect an easy washout. It's not gonna come out with water, shampoo, no problems and overall just a phenomenal product. And it's showing that the seasonal lineup, really each one is standing up on its own. I still am looking forward to do the review of their oil-based clay and take a look at the aspects there. The Void was a nice lightweight matte paste. The only aspect I didn't like was that it kind of left that residue on your hand. There will be a review for that just in the corner here if you want to check that out. And this is a product that can really stand up, although it's for the summer and you might not be able to get it anymore. When it comes back, kind of that June-ish, July, August, this will be right up the alley for something I would like to use. Something that's dependable in the different environments while maintaining a hold that we look for. Overall, just a quality product. And right now we're gonna jump over and start looking at our year-end review and hopefully you guys check that out next week once I release that video. Thanks for watching as always. Like, subscribe, comment, follow me on Instagram for a little bit more of a discussion and uh, we'll check you next week. Happy holidays. New video should be kind of posted in that gap where there's not a whole lot to do. Anyways, see you guys later.